Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to our business talk show, wherein we provide business updates, talks, and tips. This is Janine Pilonga, together with our very special guests, Mr. J and Mr. Jeffrey. A round of applause. Hello, Mr. J. How are you? I'm so fine. How about you, Mr. Jeffrey? I'm also fine. Thanks for asking. That's good to know. We have a case here from Ms. Mylin Ko, the CEO of Amsterdam Property and Development Inc. Solas Hotel is a three-star hotel in Makati City, owned and operated by Amsterdam Property and Development Inc. The CEO, Ms. Mylin Ko, has been in the garment retail trading sector for over 30 years. Although, Ms. Ko's various businesses are privately owned. She has been an advocate of good governance and is very active in community service through her CSR initiatives. She established her hotel four years ago and felt that she needed to review and improve her board structure. Currently, she has the following in place. Board of Directors, Certification of Incorporation and Other Documentary Requirements, Code of Conduct, Company by Laws, SAC Filing, and Audited Financial Statements. The hotel has currently no corporate governance guidelines in place. She currently has five executive directors, four of which are family members and one executive manager. He decides to include an outside independent director is under study by the board. Now, these are her concerns that she wants to be addressed. Question number one. Is the company Sala Hotel required to have an independent director seat on the board? Do they need one? Yes, we believe the company needs an independent director because he or she may present unbiased opinion or ideas. If we hire an independent director, we can assure that there's fairness in every decision because of the fact that he or she is not employee and they are not tied to any particular interest. Therefore, it is advisable to have one for the betterment of the business or organization. Thank you, Mr. J. Question number two. What can you suggest to the CEO to improve the existing corporate governance practice? The CEO should improve the existing corporate governance to ensure that the CEO will be able to evaluate board performance to provide or gain information that will help improving the business and to be able to prepare for the future circumstances. The following are suggestions to improve the existing good governance practices. First, the CEO should conduct audit annually to be able to monitor investment financial income of the company and the stocks. Second, the company or the CEO must hire independent director. In addition to that, the board members of the board of directors should not be related by blood or relatives. Lastly, for the hotel to run and or operate smoothly, the company should establish guidelines for corporate governance. Thank you, Mr. Jay and Mr. Jeffrey. Last question. Should the board have a set of corporate governance guidelines? Example, direction selection, direction responsibilities, compensation, and others? Yes, the board of directors should have a set of corporate governance guidelines because it will help in implementing corporate governance practice. If the company has a good practice, it will attract more investors and the company will more likely to establish good relationships with them. Therefore, we can safely say that it is necessary because it will help the company identify areas of wherein risk may occur, effective strategy for corporate governance practice, and ethical behavior. Thank you for that very wonderful answer, Mr. Jeffrey. Thank you for listening to our business talk show. Once again, this is your host, Janine Pilongo, leaving you with a saying that incredible things in the business world are never made by a single person but by a team. Thank you and God bless everyone.